Get a little John Deere AR going. We're gonna throw it on the belt for the Turbank horn to get it started. Can't quite get it started by hand cranking it, so we're gonna use the John Deere AR. Yeah, it closes the pressure leaf valve. Oh man. She goes. <laughs> there we go. Line six, like a Ford or a Chrysler. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like a GM motor, but it kind of looks like a Ford 300. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But it's a pretty small little grader. Um, so that pedal's been used quite a bit. This thing is, it has some hours on it. It looks like he still uses it every now and then, so it's kind of a cool grader. I thought I'd show. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty nice small little grader. Also got the local fire department truck right there. Nice Kenworth. I think that's what this is. Walk over here and look at it. They got an old water truck or something, but like a looks like a fifties Kenworth. It's made in the fifties because sixties had the dual headlights, 
I know that, but got a straight pipe with a flapper on top. Ten of axles. Kenworth symbol. Door opens. Got some holes in the roof, but compression relief lever and looks like it's a twin stick. Probably like a five and a four or something like that. Seems to be pretty common. Here's what motor's got in here. Probably like a Cummins, most likely. Up an old Cummins. Okay, guys, see you guys real quick. Got the really close, Simon. An old Cummins in there. Pretty, pretty nice old Kenworth. Beat up, but had, looks like it had a really hard life. Here's the pole strip. They'll start pulling at one o'clock. It's about twelve right now, so I got another hour or so to go. So got a little time. Um, this old case over here. Looks like it's been reversed, so it's been used as a four foot. But the differential most likely was reversed and driven backwards. There's any rubber on there. How's it going? All right. Good. Anyhow, heard this was a 48 GMC. Oh, door handle. Older gauges. But pretty nice on the inside with the matching field trailer. So. Like a 270 in it. Like By the looks of it, like a 270. It says it, has, says it has it around like 20 years. I don't know, John Deere and Miss.
old Ford. Ford Jubilee, maybe? I'm not percent sure. Oh, I got a little Don Deere running. There's a muscle car in there, it looks like this. Oh. Come over here to the old tractor section. I know last year they had a good row of tractors here, but pretty small this year. Um, kind of sad, but I got a couple. Farm all super C. Good old American flag on her. Here's a John Deere AR. I got this one set up for the pole. We're starting here. But you guys remember we used this to start the Fairbanks Moors diesel. So it runs pretty good. Farmall M, kind of my dream tractor. Don't got one yet, but one of these days. So it's got a belly pump for the hydraulics. Wide front end. This looks like an aftermarket front end. Not exactly. I think the, if I remember correctly, the factories had a deal that came out. They bolted up up here or something, or they stuck out the front. I think this is a little different. That might be factory, actually. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I looked into this stuff, so I don't remember. I used to know a lot of details, but I don't remember a lot of, most of them anymore. Little Ferguson. This one's set for the pole. This one's one really good. I heard it running a little while ago, so let's get this thing tuned up. Don't really care about that. So it's John Deere 2020. Cursed year, but whatever. Remember this one from last year. This one. This one pulled pretty good last year. Let's see what it does this year. Diesel. Here's a, another John Deere. I'm not exactly sure what this one is. I got a little water leak though. But this one does run too. Obviously, it's gonna be in the pole, but I heard it. They run pretty good. Looks like it's a 60. Barely see that. Old John Deere 60. And clutch. Here's a John Deere M. Pretty one of the smaller ones, John Deere one. A small little guy. But
there's the sled. The sled was designed for a smaller tractor. It's not exactly anything above 50 horsepower, from what I was told. Here's a farm all C. Not a super C, I don't think. I think it's just a regular C. But here's the sled. It's all homemade. It's got a couple car axles on there and chains and weights and all sorts of stuff. Old what is that a Kohler motor in there? Anyhow, I don't know, probably about an hour or so, we'll start the poles and you guys will be able to see these things run. So, wait until then.